Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Australia had their worst drought in their country's history from 1895 to 1903. It was called the Federation Drought. It was actually part of a worldwide drought which killed as many as 19 million people in India and 30 million people in China. The heat wave and drought began during the autumn of 1895. During the autumn of 1895, temperatures in Massachusetts and Vermont reached 105 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 degree temperatures were common across much of the United States during the last weeks of September 1895. English athletes who were not used to the heat were unable to compete in New York City during late September 1895. And they were also having unprecedented heat back in England at the same time. It was remarkably hot in Scotland on September 28, 1895. During November 1895, they were having terrible forest fires in Wisconsin. And fires were raging in California as well, with high winds. More than 50,000 acres burned and the towns of Placerville and El Dorado were threatened. This was followed in January 1896 by the worst heat wave on record in Southeast Australia. The New York Times described it as the hottest of hot waves on record. Mark Twain commented on the heat. He said, I guess we are so near our destination that it heats through the partition. From January 2nd to January 25th, 1896, Burke, New South Wales, averaged an incredible 114 degrees Fahrenheit. The extreme heat was accompanied by disease, death, and bushfires. This week in 1896, Los Angeles set a record temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And May of 1896 may have been the most violent month for tornadoes in U.S. history. On May 15, 1896, a tornado hit Sherman, Texas and pretty much destroyed the city. On May 24, 1896, deadly tornadoes hit Iowa and Illinois. On May 25, 1896, sections of Michigan, Iowa, and Illinois were visited by deadly and destructive tornadoes and floods. And then on May 27, 1896, the only tornado to ever kill more than 100 people in two separate cities struck Missouri and Illinois. It was reported at the time that there were 527 victims of the tornado. Much of St. Louis was destroyed by the mile-wide storm. During the whole year of 1896, there were at least 40 killer tornadoes in the United States. The St. Louis tornado was followed the following week by the worst heat wave on record in Arizona. Parker, Arizona had seven consecutive days over 120 degrees Fahrenheit, peaking at 126 degrees on June 15th. The only other year when Arizona recorded seven consecutive days over 120 degrees was 1905. A few weeks later, a 10-day heat wave in New York City killed nearly 1,500 people. There was a terrible heat wave in Europe as well. In Spain, the heat has been so intense that the very birds have been killed. And then during October 1896, one of the deadliest hurricanes in U.S. history occurred in Florida. Tens of millions of people died around the world from the horrifically bad weather of 1895 and 1896. Atmospheric carbon dioxide levels were below 300 parts per million, which climatologists say is very safe. There was a record heat wave and drought in 1896 around the world, but NASA shows it as being one of the coldest years on record. If government climate scientists were actual scientists, they would want to understand the heat of 1896 rather than tamper with the data to make the heat disappear. To be fair though, their propaganda has been very effective. They've driven a large percentage of the population insane. The group Just Stop Oil believes that if they deface great works of art and block people from getting about their business, they can return us to the safe and stable climate of 1896. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this climate scam for the past 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Tokiupla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.